Vicky here with you and I'm here for day 15 of the 30 inks in 30 days and let's start off by looking at the ink that we used yesterday well that I used yesterday which was the Platinum Classic Citrus Black I still am not a huge fan of this but uh, as um, Marty, Martina mentioned in the comments it would be a great ink to uh, use if you want to make um, uh, a spread that looks more vintage because of the fact that it's it's pale and it looks a bit like the the inks that you would find on uh, old paper I do however love 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 those splotches and that will probably be the way I use it just because I just love the depth depth to them um, like it goes very dark and it's just yeah it, it, it this part looks totally yummy to me and you can see how pale it is on the chromatography so yeah so that's the that's the ink of yesterday and today we're totally changing it up <laughs> oh, I'm like a kid uh, on Christmas Day when you get new toys and you want to try them all out that's what happens so I purchased a used pen from a pen friend Sarah, uh, Sarah Kitty on, um, on uh, YouTube and it came today, <laughs> it's my first Franklin Christoph, I'm so excited. So she was, she got her model 4 and was selling her model 66 uh, antique glass and it's just stunning, it has a medium nib which is my nib of choice. Um, so I, I this is my first Franklin Christoph I've never had one so I have no idea how it writes but the the feeling of it is is awesome in my hand so I can't wait to try it out and so I need to ink it I really need to ink it and she also sent me a bunch of, of uh, samples and these are my first samples from a pen friend so I'm, I'm beyond excited beyond happy just so grateful um, of this community and 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 just meeting such amazing people and yeah it, it just feels like I'm part of a, a community of, of people that like the same type of stuff and um, uh, yeah I am beyond grateful so I want to swatch out these inks and I want to use one in the pen so I tried to search it out just to because I've got an idea of which one I want to use and I searched it out to make sure that it would be okay to use in a pen and wouldn't stain from what I saw it doesn't hopefully <laughs> I'm not gonna regret it um, but hey you never know and uh, if 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 it stains well it stains what can I say um, like I, I did search it out and it seems to go to clean out easily so but we will swatch all the other ones I've got my little cards and and then we'll do the chromatography of the one that I want to use and we'll put the other ones in the little uh, the little um, bin and I might use them in my 30 inks 30 days because um, I had planned to use all my samples and um, but the thing is after that I was going to use actual bottles so maybe I'll use more samples now that I have some this is very excited um, and um, and the empty bottles I plan to refill and send out um, to others and uh, yeah it's just it's just very exciting to me so I've got my little my little shot glass just because I want to try to not make a big mess I said try because who knows um, this one looks super shimmery and oh my god I so want to to use that one but I'm thinking that it would be probably better to use in um, in an eco or something because look at the sparkle oh so this one is color verse number 26 brain glistening and it's from the pen outpost on um, and I don't I didn't know that place so I went and searched it out and um, might have to purchase some things from them because they seem to have 
Oh, such a pretty, pretty ink. They seem to have quite a lot of interesting things. So, we're just gonna go and uh, I'm gonna put it in all my books because I like to have the, the info everywhere so I can refer to it. And this is a bit thick. This is such a pretty green. And this is a brand new brush, so it's not... Uh, it's funny, the, 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 the green that I'm seeing in it, and oh my god, the glistening of this. I don't know if you can see, but it's... Oh, wow. So pretty. So, let's uh, just dip the fountain pen. The, um, the glass pen and we'll put color verse that's a sample and color verse uh, no, 26 green that's the name that's such a pretty ink that's like such such an ink that I would want to have and I'm putting it all over my fingers uh, forgot to put brain Like I said, I put it, I'm putting it all over my fingers. And, of course, my baby wipes are kind of hidden. Because why would they be close by? When I can put them under all kinds of stuff. Oh, this is so pretty. I love the shimmer in this thing. <gasps> it's so, so pretty. Oh my god, I love it so much. Close this off properly. And everything made it to Canada fine. No spillage, no nothing. <gasps> I love this thing so much. Oh my god. Check out the, the the shimmer in this thing. It's stunning. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I love it. It's just like... It's just pure, pure joy. This is so much the type of ink that I, like, I go nuts for. And I still have ink on my fingers. Ah, the joys of this. What can I say though? I love, I love playing with, with inks. Um, this one is one that I was thinking, I was considering in purchasing, so it's fun to, to see it live. This is Diamine Oxblood, and I've, I've been looking at it, and it's been part of the, the, um, the inks that I've considered, like I said, but I haven't pulled the trigger yet. Let's just put a little tab on top and try to put a little bit on it, if I remember. Oh, that's a deep, nice, rich red. Oh, nice. This is so pretty. And of course, uh, let's put it over here. So, oh, this is really nice. I can get why it's called Oxblood because it does look like the blood from meat when it, you know, kind of dries out. It's 
like I know that it's not gonna be to everybody's liking but I do like my meat twin it's it's rare like it, it looks like that <laughs> ah the funny thoughts uh, but yeah it's uh, definitely So I, I know that this is this is gonna be a longer video, um, but I had to to do this because I want to be able to possibly use them. And in order to use them, I want to have uh, uh, the uh, what they look like, so I can kind of pair them with the the pen. And like I said, I, I felt like a little kid. Um, at Christmas time so I want to play with my new toys and I didn't want to put two ink videos back to back and so figured I was gonna share this with you guys in the same one especially since you know it's uh, it's ink which is the the point of of this oh this is like this is really pretty I think it's definitely gonna go into my list of inks to purchase because it's like a rich red burgundy type of of color like oh, really yummy Okay, so put that over here and then let's get to the next one. So this one is color version number 47, ham. And it looks like it's a blue. There's already a little dot on top. And I'm keeping the little plastic because I want to reuse them. Because that's what I do. I reuse as much as possible. Oh, what a nice blue. I'm not a huge fan of blue, but that's a very pretty one. Oh, that's a really nice, rich one. I do have to say that I, I really love Colorverse inks. They're really nice. I wonder... I forget, did I shake it? Should I have shaken it? I don't think I shook it. I don't know if I should have. I really love the shading on this. I can only imagine uh, if it's like that for um, with a, a glass pen, how much it would be using an actual pen. Because, I mean, this a glass nib is really, really thin. And you can still see a lot of different color variation in the writing. So, wow, I forgot to write that it was a sample. I don't want to waste it. Whoops! I why? You, I, oh my God! Um, I mixed. 
I was thinking Katie and yeah <laughs> oh this is really pretty I love this blue it's my type of rich blue uh, very very pretty okay then uh, there's Colorverse Andromeda and I know I loved seeing Sarah use it I've been eyeing a lot of the colors that she has oh oh my god it's so pretty <gasps> so pretty it's just oh my god it's even prettier in person than it is on on camera Oh, that's very pretty. Oh, this is so my type of color. Like a pink, but with purple in it, and just oh my god, I can I can totally imagine writing with this. So now it's like definitely gonna go into my wish list of inks to get a an actual bottle. I didn't check if it was still available. I know that some Colorverse inks are not, which makes me really kind of sad because I see some wonderful, wonderful ones. Oh, that's gorgeous. So I'll have some ink. <gasps> yeah, very pretty. Definitely something to look into and that I would love. I love the color of this ink. It's the type of ink that makes me happy just looking at it. And yeah, it's definitely the type of color that I love to write letters with. Totally, that's my style. And so is this one, I believe, I think, because it's Purple Possess from uh, Diamine. And, uh, and Purple and me. <gasps> yeah, definitely. It's going to have to be an ink that goes into my my collection. This is such a rich purple. When I think of purple, like that's that's what I think of. Oh, and look at that shimmer, guys. <gasps> oh, wow. Wow, it's just so pretty and shimmery. It's funny, I was listening to uh, Mary Odge yesterday and she was sharing an, a, a purple ink from Noodlers. And, um, and she had the same reaction to the, the purple ink as I had when I received my purple all-star. It totally didn't feel 
like it, it it didn't look purple to me this feels purple and I guess there's there's all kinds of um, there's all kinds of uh, purples obviously and we could argue about the colors so much because it's it's so I mean there's so many shades which is why I, I love playing with the inks because it just it's just yummy it's uh and I today I'm I'm planning on playing with some in my my journals because I just have to to do it I want to journal and I want to use it in it The shimmer in this thing is just amazing. When you put it down, you don't see it as much. But then when you look at it, afterwards, it's all shimmery. Wow. This is so fun. It has like this gold shimmer to it. I'm hoping that the camera can pick it up, but I don't know. Yeah, see here? Oh my god, that's like that's yumminess in a bottle. Oh, this is, this is, oh, I'm going to have so much fun with this one. And I know exactly which pen to use because I got, um, I finally got myself the, um, the Echo, uh, purple pen and that ink is going in it. And it's definitely not part, it wasn't part of my, um, my 30 inks in 30 days but yeah it's it's gonna be part of the lineup because <gasps> so pretty okay and then you've got colorverse extra dimension and I don't remember seeing uh, seeing seeing Sarah use that one yet if she did I'm not sure Pretty blue. She's had so many fun inks with so many facts of of space. I'm not sure anymore. Like I'm trying to keep up with all the the the, the fun facts and keep them in my head, but it's uh yeah the one that that is um, one fact that's like really stuck to me was the um, the dark energy one and the supernova oh this is so pretty yeah this is a really wonderful blue it's a dark one but it almost feels like there's there's a bit of, of green in it like feels like a bit of teal so pretty 
Oh, wow. Oh yeah, definitely one that I want. Maybe she did share it and I don't remember, but that's definitely one that that would be something I would want to have. I will be putting in the description box below the link to her channel, just in case you don't know uh, you don't know her. Um, she has amazing facts of all the Colorverse inks that she's using in the 30 inks, 30 days, and um, I just learned so much. And then when I speak to, with my husband, who's an engineer and all into uh, space and stuff. I look so much more intelligent. <sighs> I did mention, I think, on here how I I love I'm a I love space. Um, like I love Star Wars and I I love uh, Star Trek and and anything like that. Um, I'm just not very good at keeping facts in my head. Uh, so, unlike my my husband, but oh my god, that's going to be amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So, I can see that the end of the month I'm going to be using a lot of these. Because I've got the... I have the Waterman samples that I was going to use and I have one last one which is the um, uh, which is the troublemaker uh, I don't remember which one it's this one I think that's the troublemaker that I was going to use today but obviously I'm not using it today because I'm using this one and this one is the Bur Bur Birmingham uh, Pen Company Cure Refinery Petroleum and I thought this looked really like a pretty pretty ink to put in my new pen. So that's what we're doing. We're putting that one in the new pen and then I'm going to be writing all day with it. Because I just can't have myself. I've got a new toy. I need to play with it. And this ink, from what I saw in the bottle, looks really pretty and I think would be a really nice combination. So I'm just hoping that I'm not messing up and that it does clean easily. We shall see I guess. But oh my god check out my new pen. <gasps> so pretty. Because look, look at the, the color. So I'm thinking because I can see a bit of green in, in, in this. So I'm thinking that it would be a nice combo so we shall see but I'm excited I'm excited uh, I guess I'll do the the, the the thing on on the paper right away because I don't want to waste any of it oh this is so pretty oh my god I'm gonna have fun today I'm gonna have fun today. <gasps> oh. Oh, I have a feeling that this is something that once the the sample is over, I'm gonna want to have a bottle of this. Because it's so pretty. Oh wow. Oh yeah. 
this is gonna be this is gonna be pretty okay so to do this we're gonna actually fill up my pen my gorgeous new pen and hopefully I can fit it in and get it filled up and not make a huge mess I was so excited to that when I saw that Sarah was selling her pen to be able to contact her and, and, and get it was awesome. I'm just gonna wipe this down a bit. here so I don't make a mess of myself whoops wrong. Uh, the wrong part of the pen so let's put this aside and let's uh, do the chromatography oh I'm loving this okay I can't wait to see what colors comes on this so this is uh, this is a, a really juicy, juicy, juicy nib. So this is I want to write it properly. This is my first ink from them. I've never tested. I've seen a lot of people. Um, use them, but uh, it's my first time using one. Here, we find uh, petroleum. Oh, so pretty! So pretty! Oh my god, I love it. Okay, so let's try to move this so that we can then put this aside and I can do my splotches and everything else. So, whoops, Burr. Ming. Um. Pen. Co. This pen writes like butter. Whoops, Burr. Burr. I just realized that I made a, a mistake on my on writing this. I added an, an R. Oh well. Okay, so let's put this aside. I can put that aside and we can do the splotches. Oh, and it's the chromatography is looking awesome. It. This is so awesome. Oh, this is this is gonna this is gonna be a color that's gonna make me happy all day and it's such a dark 
great day today that this is like oh this is gonna be my happy place check out the ink color guys oh my god can it be any yummier this is like a green but with with some blue and just oh and this pen is incredibly juicy which is something I really love in a pen okay so we're using And we're April 15, 2021. And this is the perfect, perfect mid month type of ink because it's just so, <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh my god, I'm happy. Oh, it writes so nice and wet and juicy. Oh, I'm gonna be a happy camper today. So, the piece of wild things by Randall Berry. And I just think it just like this ink just complements this pen so well. So well. Oh my god. I love it. I know I repeat myself, but oh. When this, so I'm using the piece of the wild things by Wendell uh, Berry. So when despair for the world uh, world grows in me, and I wake in the night, at least sound. in fear of what my life and my children's life may be, I go and by down where the wood drake rests in his beauty on the water and the great Heron feeds. Oh my god, the chromatography is just beyond amazing. <gasps> oh, I'm in I'm in heaven right now. I come into the peace of wild things. Who do not tax their lives with forethought of 
I come into the presence of still water and I feel above me the deep line stars reading with their light for a time I rest in the grace of the world and I'm free oh this pen is just a joy to write with oh my god this is this is awesome 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 so gorgeous 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 color and wait until you see the chromatography wow it's just stunning check this out so it start off with with some blues and and purples and then you you see the blue and then the the green and the blue it's just oh wow stunning 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 I'm so happy thank you so much Sarah I'm I'm, I'm over the moon um, the the samples are just awesome 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 I'm gonna have so much fun playing with them but this pen I'm I'm so happy it left you to get to this house <laughs> I'm very very excited my first one but I love it love it love it love it love it and I seem to have I didn't clean up my uh, my nib properly I guess because it's uh, it's went into the cap so we'll clean off that right away so that's it guys I hope that you've enjoyed this video even though it was longer than usual but I just had to play with those new inks and now I'm gonna have to decide which one I pair with what and um, because they're gonna be part of the lineup for sure of the 30 inks in 30 days so love you guys stay safe and see you soon bye